like his behavior, and you just walk him out to the end, have food in your hand, and he, he just about did it right there, man. And <laughs> perfect. So now you play the game. A couple of pieces, maybe three, four repetitions, no problem. Good. Now pull him back. You don't have to say anything, just pull him. Yeah. Now line him up. Actually, you know what? Let him go, bro. He's already, he's ready. He doesn't need you helping him. Outstanding. Very good. So just keep playing the reps and I'll just keep talking a little bit. So normally I would have pulled him back not as far. It worked out fine. <laughs> he says, move those meat hooks, man. That's him looking for low-lying fruit, no problem. A couple reps, pull him straight back. Pull him all the way back again, man. He's ready for it. Normally wouldn't go so far back, but he's ready. Just spin him around. It's okay, it looks a little fast paced like that because he knows where the target is. That's okay. You're only gonna do this for a few repetitions and then it's gonna be straight tracking. It's not gonna be the back chaining process. He's pretty responsive to you, right? If you drop the leash, you won't take off? No. So that's what I want you to do next time is pull him back, line him up, drop the leash. Because the leash is creating opposition reflex where he wants to run. Outstanding, really. Very good indication. Yep, pull him back. And no food in your hand. Put the food, yep. <laughs> Spin him around, direct him towards the ground, and just let him go. See how much smoother it is without opposition? Now you come up and join him. Let him indicate. Good. Perfect. And now you don't have to get on top of him either, man. You can, yeah, you can stay back. And the fact that he's facing you is no problem, bro. That's not what it's about right now. Later, he'll be downrange, pinpointing. Good. After the after you drop this one, grab your leash, pull him back. Good, super. He missed it, no problem. Yep, just do another rep. Excellent, bro. Pull him back. Excellent. Let him indicate, now you come in. Right from there. A little too close, back up. Yep, you can throw from there. So while you're seeing a little bit of that behavior of him checking out on grass, because it's a very familiar tracking picture, right? He wants to go to grass. So best case scenario, although this, this is beautiful brick pavers, you almost want an ocean of brick pavers where there's no option for grass in the beginning. Because again, they're gonna cheat and go to what's familiar. shitty but then he found the self-discovery he found his way home just about underneath his collar man so when he backs up look right there yes perfect Good. now pick him up while he's right there only go about halfway back right about there and then direct him perfect Do about two or three reps and then put them in the car. We're going to do another track. Good. Good. So what we found was that the tight sidewalk of cobblestone pathway and then grass on either side was too distracting for the dog in the early stages. So now we found this nice sea of bricks. And Jeff is moonwalking -walk like a weirdo. But it's, uh, again, we have to make the environment better for the dog. So. Nice bricks. Let him go. Yep. Excellent. That's how it should look. Yep. 
pull them back, line them up, tell them to track. Excellent, that's how it looks, bro. And you can throw from back there. And if the, the kibble skips and you gotta drop the leash, no problem. Excellent. After this one, get the leash and pull them back. Good. Yep, throw from there, no problem. Do you have like a nylon 15 footer? Yeah. Yeah, next time we'll use that so you can give them some range. After you pay them, go up a little bit. Let them give you one more, then grab the leash. Yep. 